Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Henry Wildberry and today I wanted to do a quick update on the action camera mount now that I've had a chance to use it a few times. But before I do, I first want to thank all of you for subscribing to this channel. It has been very motivating for me to continue to make content. So I want to thank all of you and I'm really enjoying it and I'm having a lot of fun. So thanks again and uh, let me know always in this comment section. I'm always open to hearing what you have to say. So let's head out. I'm going to stop in Santa Rosa. I've got a few things to pick up and then I'm going to run you through the uh, pros and cons of this homemade, pseudo homemade action camera mount. Thank you. video um, oh ho, we've got a dog we're back now so let me just get the uh, give you a few last little points about this camera setup so as you can see I'm using the uh, the Hitler mustache for the sound deadening and I like that because while you if you're going to use an auxiliary mic, you have to set this thing to airplane mode. And the problem is when it's in airplane mode, the uh, Wi-Fi doesn't work. So then you can't use your phone for checking to see if you've got the angle right. So it's just an extra step and if you forget to set it to airplane mode, you get this scratchy sound. It gives you very good sound quality. It's not the best, but it gives you good enough sound quality. So if you want to hear a sample of this, um, check out my Instagram. I just posted a video of Aaron riding his mountain bike and we were going downhill really fast. And you can hear his uh, freewheel, you can hear my freewheel and his freewheel almost perfectly. And it's all with the internal mic with just this Hitler stash on there. Come over here and just take a look at this from this angle. So what's nice is you can do this in any way you want, but I did have it originally here on this side. That, sent, that actually centers the camera more or less over the center line of your bike. And that's nice and all, except for then the Garmin has to go over here and then you can't, it's hard to put the Garmin on because this L-shaped angle kind of interferes. I like it on this side because when you go to reach for the camera with your right hand, 
let's say you're riding and you want to get it in your right hand because this is where the release button is you have to cross over the bar so that's a little bit awkward um, for reaching if you want to hold if you want to hand hold with your right hand and it's also a little harder it's a little more awkward putting it back on from this side so that's a drawback uh, but you can also flip this around so that the camera is closer to you that puts the lever on this side and if you put this on this side if you move it over and have the lever on this side then you would use your thumb to push down and turn so this is really cool for having it different ways to set it up and then also with it off to off to center when you're riding directly behind somebody you're actually getting a view kind of past them so that's kind of cool if you're trying to get some good angles where you're not just directly behind somebody else. I do like this camera quite a bit. It has the internal stabilization and it has three different view uh, angles. So you can do narrow, medium, and wide. So that gives you a ton of options. It'll film 4K at 30 frames per second. So if you want more of a cinematic look, you can do that. But if you want smooth, slow motion, it'll do 1080p, high definition, at 120 frames per second. And that comes out really nice So uh, for slow motion shots. For general filming on the bike and just for shots of people, um, I do film 1080p at 60 frames per second. But uh, what I've noticed is that if you go to the higher quality resolution, um, it only films it with the wide angle. So if you wanna do, so if you wanna do 1080, P120, it's going to be a wide angle view only. So I don't know if that matters, but just something I noticed. This camera is very, very cool. I really like it. And and last, of course, not don't I don't use this this extra case because I found that just this little extra weight here on this rat on this mount gives it a little more of a vibration. So that's uh, that's kind of a drawback. But if you, you don't really need this unless you're, you're gonna do some real muddy mountain bike rides or something like that. So I think for an all around, super lightweight vlogging setup on a bike, this is the, um, the setup. I did do another video uh, using my bigger camera. You get way better footage, but you are going to suffer the consequences of having a lot more gear. Um, so if you wanna check out that video, I'll put a card up um, over here for that video. And if you want to see how I made this little bracket, I'll put a card up right there for this for that video. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, check back. We're going to be doing the Grasshopper uh, this weekend, and I'll have a video up for you next week. See you later.